Hi everyone, welcome back to Dynamics 5 Academy YouTube channel. So Dynamics 5 Academy brings you video course on Dynamics 5, Power Platform, Azure and uh, Microsoft Office 5. So in this video, we are going to talk about how we can utilize personal options in Dynamics 5 customer engagement. So personal options are basically allow you to just configure the settings for individual users within the customer engagement application. We know that in the customer engagement application, the system admins can configure the application for the entire organization. But using personal option, individual users can just configure the application for themselves, for their accounts. They don't want to depend upon the system admin. So that's the benefit of utilizing personal options within Dynamics CE. By using the personal options, the individual users can configure the time zone for them. They can configure the currency, the language of the application and the format for utilizing the application, etc. So I'll be just sharing my screen and show you how and where we can configure personal options in customer engagement application. So in this video, we are going to talk about personalization setting in Dynamics by customer engagement. In customer engagement application, there are two types of settings. One is personalization settings, other one is advanced settings. So ELIs used to be known as personalization option or personal options and then advanced settings. So as an individual user in customer engagement, you can configure your own account. That is known as personal settings and there is advanced settings that is for the system admin. So when you are a personal individual, when you are an individual user in customer engagement application, you have many limitations in terms of configuring the application, etc. You have to ask the admin you know, to con get it configured. And there are a set of options which can be configured by yourself. So just click on the personalized settings and you get this options. So where you get a dialog where you, with multiple tabs. So under general, you can just configure many general things like which, what is the default pane you have to have. So if you are a customer engagement, uh, if you are a customer service agent, or a customer service manager, you can select default pane as service and then default tab as queues. So every time when you log into the application and go to the home, this is what you're going to see, queues under services. You can change that here anytime. And then the number of records shown per page in any list of records, it can be select from 15, so 25 to 250, 50 is the default. And then the default mode in advanced find, there are two modes, one is the simple mode, that is a default one. And if you want to have detailed, uh, I mean, detailed way of advanced find search needed, you can mention that. When come to default search experience, every time when you're searching in Dynamify, in customer engagement application, you can go for any of these two types of searches. One is a relevant search, other one is a category search. So these are relatively new types of searches available. You can select any of this and then click save. And then you can select the time zone. So your admin would have set a time zone, which is very different from you. So you want to see the time which is suitable to your, your, your calendar, right? So that situation, you can just change that to your time zone, different from your admin other users. And then the currency. So this currency section will show you the list of all the currencies that is created by the admin. So currencies can be added only by your system admin. So if you want to have your currency added over here and display here, you can request your admin. Once you add that, then you can add your currency over here. For example, Australian dollars. So once you select your default currency for your account, that doesn't mean that you cannot select other currency. You can change that at any point in time, as long as the admin has added that particular currency. So I have mentioned Australian dollars depends upon my location. So it will be the default currency every time when I'm trying to create an opportunity record and configure the estimated revenue over here. But I can change that into USD or any other thing. So the default currency in this particular customer engagement application for me is USD, but I have set Australian dollars for my individual account. That is not going to affect any other users. Then these are some new options available over here. Even I am seeing it for a very first time. Support high contract settings, enable high contract, and then enable, uh, this one is uh, existing one, not new. Enable country region code prefixing. So where I can just mention for telephony. And then the activities area, this is for service scheduling option like i can mention the start time and end time when i'm going to send as a customer service agent or a field agent in field set field service field service for that matter so i can mention the default calendar as day week or month and then i go ahead here i can see the format there are a lot of formats available based on the base location i have set as well as the language so presently it is 
uh, English, United States and all the number, currency, time, short date and etc. is based on that. But if I want to change that, I have the option to change that. For example, even I have one English, India is there, if I am from India. And then you can see that the currency symbol, the time format, short date, long date, everything got changes as per what I have selected here as the current format. I even have the option to customize it. That is not, yeah, so I can just change all that. We'll be looking at this in a different video. So for now, my intention is just show you what are the options available under personal settings over here. And then here I have the option to create new email templates, only specific to you. So here I can create a new template over here personal under personal option i can select a new email template for a particular entity email signatures so that every time when a mail is sent from my customer engagement application account using a workflow or any other mean and i can include my signature over here right so that is pretty cool then under email option i can see option like allow other microsoft dynamics for users to send email on my behalf yes i go for it and then track the email all email need to be tracked for me this is a new configuration option available here we didn't have this so i will tell you one thing so microsoft has come up with a lot of changes under personalization settings they have organized it pretty good earlier we had a lot more options available here so they have reduced them and they have added a few more sessions and a few more options so i i think now it is pretty clear and neat in terms of the configuration is they have organized it pretty well so this is a new option like just to track email messages to track in dynamics file only for individual user this option is available for the admin always but now it's available for individual users also automatically create records in dynamics file i can select that if i select i can select whether i need to create contacts or accounts from the sender or organize organizer of track email message and settings so as an individual user i can do that then unified interface only show email as conversation on timeline only on unified interface this is available then comes the privacy option where i can just see that here i can see the privacy statement it's taking me to my microsoft account security and privacy so we, which you can set later on so i can just give the permission ask me for permission to send an error report to microsoft automatically send an error report never send an error report so i'll go for the very first one as a default then comes the languages so when you are admin is configuring or procuring your office for your account or dynamics for your account they will set a language that language you can change but an admin can change multiple languages that make dynamics for customer engagement a multilingual system so if you are from india and you don't want to have english as a default language then you can ask your admin to add that language into your system so once the admin add that you can come here you can change the user interface language to anything so there are two types of language you can change here. So this is they have recently added. They are displaying the base language here now, which is English, which is good. And then this is the only language available in my system. So I can add my admin to add any other Indian language which I'm comfortable with. For example, Hindi or Urdu for that matter. And then I can come here and change my user interface language here. Also, I have an option to change my help language. Hardly I have seen any reason to just have a language different in help language and user interface language okay so i can set that just one thing that you need to be careful here is if you are changing your user interface language to any other language that you cannot read for some reason then you'll be in trouble because in the, in the user interface everywhere the language will be displayed all messages text everything will be changed so it will be very difficult for you to just go back to the older language so don't change this language to any other language which you cannot read that's it thumb rule so you can add your admin here even i need to add my admin to just add another language over here english in the spanish or anything then i can select them and click ok that means for my customer engagement application the language will be changed so that's a cool feature so these are the things you can just see under personal options or personalization settings just to summarize using personalization settings you can configure the language the currency the display the ui the language etc only for your account without annoying the system admin so that's an easy thing all right so uh, i believe this uh, video is quite useful to you guys if you have any question you can mention that in the comment box we'll be happy to answer them thanks for watching have a great day